Thank you, Emoji J. Okay, okay, let's be real. This is live streaming. This is my broadcast channel that the meat group, Plenty of Fish, has allowed me to have since 2020, March 2020, right? When everyone, well, you know what happened then. Anyway, so yes, it's a live show. And well, I had a few technical things happen this day and it's real. So Kraken might be next week's guest. She has already been on our show, but she is a close friend of mine, Kraken for Top Badge. Um, she was gonna come on today, but she has an event with her daughter. So absolutely understandable. Smokeface is our guest and you know, well, we, we created things fast because it's a digital community. Emoji J is phenomenal. Hit him up for your IT needs. If you're recording a stream, an event on the app, he's amazing. So he's in the chat. He's Tantrix, like right now. Emoji, be in the chat real quick. Emoji J. So anyway, he, he did get um, purchased or supported in an event. So his name is different. But Molly Dolly is our guest of the night along with Smoke Face not Smoke Faye, although that sounds fun too. <laughs> but welcome in. When you're doing live streaming, especially a featured show, you have to go with the flow, right? Similar to life. So what we do here, welcome in everyone. Please be in the chat, be kind, be respectful. Please, my folks who know me and the Good Vibe Tribe energy, would you just remind folks, give them a warning, just let them know this is a featured show and we're happy they're here and to keep it uplifting and positive. If that doesn't work and they don't get the memo, then we're gonna Uber them left or right to another stream until tomorrow. So again, welcome in everybody. This is the Living and Loving Show. We are a featured show here on the Plenty of Fish app in the Meat Group, and we are at our 95th show. So thank you Emoji J for the amazing intro video. Papa Bear Sings will be doing our live music after the show, and he will also do our outro video. So if you didn't get a chance to see it, you will have a chance in a bit. And maybe Emoji J, if I send you, or Molly, Molly, could you send, Molly Dolly, could you send your headshot to Emoji J really quick on Instagram and see if he can update our video for the outro? Let's see if it works. Let's see. Might as well give it a shot. Funky not funky in the building. Who's in the building? Spam some butterflies. Spam some smoke face emojis, which is the happy face with the money tongue. You know, the money tongue. Can you find it? Lights, camera, action. Let's go. Okay, I'm not here. Great. There we go. That money face. Get in there. Spam that emoji because he is our first guest. But before we do that, just like every week, we do a healthy living tip of the week. We also do a loving affirmation and we share a few jokes. We're live well, love more, laugh always. That is the triple L. Thank you, Kane. Thank you so much for the hot dogs on my face. You just reminded me to turn off my gift audio. Thank you. <laughs> it takes a tribe, y'all. We're the Good Vibe Tribe on Plenty of Fish. Triple the butterflies. I am a top badge here. I am proud to be a top broadcaster, broadcaster with almost 20, I don't know, 28,000 fans, spades, whatever. Love you. You're amazing. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Happy birthday, Leos. Happy birthday, Leos. If you're a Leo, I may or may not know a few Leos, but happy birthday. It is your season. Also, congratulations to Silly Lily. She is one of your newest top badges. She just received the honor of badge yesterday. Shout outs to top badge Silly Lily, much deserved. She's been grinding for years. She's a solo parent to two children. She is a hardworking woman with her own business. Check her out, top badge Silly Lily. You're amazing. We are stronger together forever. Forever stronger together stronger together forever. I don't know. It's something like that. <laughs> it's the infinity and the strong arm. Those are her emojis. So shout outs to Top Badge Silly Lily. I'm so proud of you. All right, here we go. Healthy living tip of this week. Reduce your stress. Listen to me. Listen to me. Okay. Reduce your stress. What does it mean to you? Kane said no. All right, Kane. It's different for each person, but what I'd like you to do this week, moving forward from today until next week, when we meet again, 
I would like you to reduce your stress. Somehow, start with something little. That was stressful. Oh, Lord. Y'all, happy Saturday. Welcome in, living and loving with Triple L. I'm so happy you're here, but try it. Just try it. I'm going to give you a couple examples, okay? I would like you to relax, okay? I want you to go to bed 10 minutes earlier than you normally would. Put your phone down. Put your laptop down. Put your tablet down. Yes, I said it. Sign off for a few minutes early. I want you to give yourself 10 minutes. You owe yourself 10 minutes to relax, to de-stress and decompress, okay? One way that I do that is essential oils, okay? This is stress ease. You can find it everywhere. Be careful about putting it right to your skin, but you can put it on clothing. You can put it on bedding. You can make a little spray yourself, okay? This was a spray that I make now my own. I just add water and some oils. I do about 11 drops in a bottle like this. Spray your space before you sleep. If you need a little daily, like, relax moment, just spray it. Mist your energy, your workstation, your stream station, your couch, whatever. Trust me, okay? Aromatherapy is a therapy. So we are linked in our brains to smell. So it can bring back wonderful memories or trauma memories, right? So please think about it as a way for you to de-stress, all right, and relax just a little more in your daily life. You'll find the scents that work for you. It does not have to be essential oils. It might be something different, but please provide yourself that space 10 minutes a day before you rest to just decompress because life is fast paced and busy for all of us and you owe it to yourself. That is your healthy living tip of this week. I'm Triple L. This is the Living and Loving Show with Triple L. So please get in here, get in the chat, spam some emojis and enjoy the show. Our next thing that we do every week is your love part. So we did the live well. We're doing the love more. This is your loving affirmation. It's my favorite. I keep it in my kitchen. I actually had to untape it because I love this one so much. Please say it with me in your heart space, your head space. I live in an abundant universe. Feel free to screenshot it. Thank you so much for being here, y'all. I live in an abundant universe. You live in an abundant universe. We live in an abundant universe. On the back side, it says, notice how abundance flows into your life in delightful and surprising ways. Notice how abundance flows into your life in delightful and surprising ways. I want you to remember that even in the most tough of times, there are blessings right within you and right in that moment. It is called present for a reason. It's a gift. Hello, hello, welcome in. That's our living healthy tip relax and de-stress okay essential oils will help and your loving affirmation is i live in an abundant universe my most favorite card of all of my cards for our affirmations okay now moving on to my favorite parts all right i put my plenty of fish hat on because well i've been traveling for like 10 days and i don't, don't get me started if you guys were here last night you already know it was like three days late because of the flight stuff. But anyways, here's my silly hat. Ready? Boom. All right. Put on some silly energy. Wiggle it out. Get ready. All right. Silly energy for just a moment. My son helped me out with some jokes. I got to get my readers. Judge me. Okay. Because I think it, it helps. Right. So just go ahead. Do it. All right. Here we go. Let me turn up my lights. Yeah. About to be 46. Big Leo energy. Welcome in. Here we go. Where can you find, wait, hold on. Where can you find out more about ducks? Where can you find out more about ducks? Let me make sure I get this right. In a dictionary. A dictionary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't say they were good, but um, boom, boom, they're not good jokes. They're just jokes. Come on, spam some, come on. Come on, it's Saturday night. You cannot be in a bad mood, okay? It's, you can't. You cannot come in here to the Good Vibe Tribe with Triple L, Live, Love, Laugh, 
and be in a bad mood, okay? So it's just, it's not, you can't, you can't do it. You just can't do it. Look at the hat, look at the hat, okay? Smile, be happy. Come on, you got this. Give me, give me 60 minutes and you're gonna be happier, I promise. All right, here we go. Second joke. I'm gonna get my other readers because those are too big, believe it or not. I hate aging. Did I say it out loud? Yeah. Stay young, y'all. All right, here we go. What do astronauts do when they get dirty? What do astronauts do when they get dirty? You guys, Uber out Jay. Uber, immediately. Now, please. Jay, get out of here. All right. What do astronauts do when they get dirty? They take a meteor shower. They take a meteor shower. All right. But um, boom, ba. Yeah, we could say media shower, like as live streamers. I mean, that's kind of funny. Whatever, whatever. All right, here we go. I got stickers. I got stickers for you. I got stickers for you. We got stickers. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna put a sticker on. This is it. This is the one. You are awesome. You look at it. You, yes, you. I said you. You. Who's listening, looking, watching, you're awesome. Okay? I'm gonna put it right here so you can remember. All right, let's get started. We have two amazing guests. The first one is someone I've had the privilege of knowing for a very long time. His name is Smokeface. He has an amazing journey in streaming, in life, and in love. So let's get started with our first amazing guest of the night. Smoke face. When you're ready, request the guest box. Whoever is requesting it right now, I ask that you wait until after 8 p.m. And after our live music with Papa Bear, when Papa Bear is done with his live music in our segment together around 8.30, 8 something, we will open up all the boxes and uh, you will be, I will be happy to have you in. I do better. DVD. All right. Again, you guys traveling cancellations, flight problems, the runarounds. Don't get me started, okay? We're happy I'm here. I'm happy I'm here. <laughs> we did it last week from a hotel room and this week we're doing it in real life. Okay, here we go. The Living and Loving Show with Triple L. Um, my first guest of the night is Smokeface and here it is. What's up? Well, hello. What's up? Mr. Smoke Face. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much. I know you work today, but uh, you today made it happen because that's the kind of guy seven, you are. Today was seven days straight working. Oh, there's one. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Well, thank you so much for squeezing us in. Um, this isn't your first time on the show. Nope. It was a little over a year ago. You had me and Megan both on. Hi. Hi, Maggie. Okay, so people don't know. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna assume I know nothing, right? And I'm gonna let you start with, how did you become a streamer? And then we're gonna talk about the love story that exists within the digital world. So honestly, I became a streamer because of you. Um, I, was, I, was a viewer, I was a viewer and I would jump in people's boxes. Megan, do you want to say hi real quick? Because Megan doesn't want to really be on camera too much, but she wanted to say hi. Maggie. What, before I start. Hi. Hi, beautiful. All right. Now do you want to take Zoe inside just in yeah. case? Um, so, yeah, no, I started streaming basically because of you. When you featured me and Megan on your show to talk about our story the last time is when I jumped off and I decided I was not going to be a viewer anymore that I was going to be a streamer. Let's go. <laughs> and tell them where you are now. Like how, how far are you in your journey? Because you're doing uh, I'm, it. I mean, I'm, 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 close, well. I'm, close to, I'm close to 3 million. Let's go. Um, Big so, triple million. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I mean, I'm doing pretty good for a male streamer on here, but I, I do provide a lot of content and that's what helps out. Yes. Um, Late, lately, I've been mixing a lot of music live again because I, I gave up on that for a while. But lately, I've been actually making songs uh, 
well i make my music live plus i make it live on here it's th this is actually one of my songs right now just to kind of chill to love it i'm gonna turn my music off so we can hear your music you all if you're just joining us welcome in we're a featured show on plenty of fish in the meat group this is smoke face he's our first guest of the night i'm your host triple l and we're talking about life and love as it pertains to streaming so those of us that are in the live community whether we have a featured show or or we're just here to spread our gifts right for instance smoke face he's a father he's a professional he makes music he's very creative he has a lot of positive energy about him so we're here tonight talking to him about how he became a streamer and talking about his love life because it's actually connected okay so you make music you're almost to three milli about a year ago or you know so you decided besides being a viewer you know and supporter because you were already supporting gifting yeah. being active in my streams you decided you're going to go live too and make it more consistent right like a daily or at least every other day type of thing right i uh, for the most part i do make it daily okay so what can people expect when they come in your stream? So some music creation, what other kinds I know, but fun, tell them yeah, what yeah, other know, fun things you are you know. doing uh, in your fun, stream. Fun costumes, like comedy. I, like, uh, like, I, I'm being professional right now, but usually like, yeah, it, it's all comedy. I make a lot of jokes. I'm, 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 keep, I'm keeping everything clean just for triple. Right, as a featured show, <laughs> it was funny. You know what? You and the next amazing guest, Molly Dolly, she both and you were saying, right, like literally in the same, I don't know if you guys were chatting on Instagram, but when I opened up my notifications, you guys were both saying, is it okay to wear sunglasses? Because I said no glassware. <laughs> because as a featured show, we are, you know, held to higher standards. We cannot do certain things on camera, as we shouldn't anyway, but it's a show that we are being, you know, promoted on the app. We have to I'm cut out a few 80s, things. I'm wearing my 80s outfit. I'm an 80s baby. I love it. Okay, shout out to the 80s. So tell us more. So you decided to go streaming like daily, if not multiple times, like a morning, evening, after work, you know, kind of when you can stream. Um, what do you love about being a live streamer now that you have your own broadcast channel at almost three milli? And how many um, favorites right now do you have? I want to say I know I got over two thousand. I'm somewhere between two and three thousand. I don't know for okay. sure. I don't, I don't. I don't really keep up on checking up on that. Okay. Okay. So you're here to provide a place for folks to connect over music yeah. and laughs and good vibes, I've, right? I've, I've met some. I've met some amazing people over this app. I have to admit, like, so I'm. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows who Vibrance is. He's an amazing artist. Vibrance is going to actually finish my back tattoo because my back, my my tattoo artist like gave up on me, basically. Gave up on you. <laughs> well, yes, you guys have to tune in yeah. to Smoke Face broadcast because he does have a lot of tattoos. We've been, can, we've been working on my back tattoo for twelve years, and he finally uh -huh. like he, he was just like, I, well, I think he was kind of using me as a paycheck, so. I found uh, Vibrance, he lives about 45 minutes from me. Him and his girlfriend and his daughter and her friend came up. They, they spent 4th of July with us, you know, shooting off fireworks and stuff. So I got I got to meet him and he agreed to finish my back tattoo. So I got a tattoo session lined up that I'm gonna go and do on the 12th to, to hopefully try and finish this uh, 12 year project that I've been working on. So music, family, fun, tattoos, and what's so what's something you, else that you're passionate about because i know you and i'm trying not to give all your secrets away because i want them to hit that favorite on smoke face and go join his live broadcast but what's another thing that you do really enjoy and if you if you're not thinking what i'm thinking i'm gonna say it for you but what's another thing you that you're can, passionate you can about? say it for me but the only other thing i can think of is like i have a passion for helping people i work in the medical That's field it. Yeah, no, I, I really, I really have a passion for helping people, and you do. like I do, like I, I'm, I'm the kind of guy that'll take the shirt off my back to do, like to help anybody out. You do. You're legit one of those uplifters, 
give backers, you know, I know again, and I don't want you to share anything you're not comfortable with, but I know some of your journey. And I think because of I'm, your journey, I'm an open book. you're, you're humble and you're real and you know, you've been through a lot and you're always, I know you're one of the first to outreach a hand to lift someone else up in a time of need or a time of pain. Um, every time I come into your streams, you know, you're connecting with folks, you're, you're trying to, to bring them to a different level of happiness, whether it's through music or, you know, comedy or bright lights. You and I like to just kind of light up the night. Um, so thank you for that because you're doing something that the live community needs, which is giving people a place to come and enjoy each other's energy. Well, thank you. And that's why I enjoy going to your stream also. So what are you looking forward to in your stream journey? And then we're going to talk about love. Um, honestly, I'm not looking forward to much because like, and, and I, I, I don't want to bring up too much, but I do stream on two different platforms and that's all I'm going to say about it. Um, okay. So, I mean, I'm really not looking for much other than like connections. Like I said, I, I've met some valuable friends. I got, and I'm sure a lot of people know Sav. Sav's one of my best friends on here. I send him care packages all the time. Like, and then uh, to, uh, toothpick, toothpick's another one. Like th those friendships that I've gotten, it's it's almost like a brotherhood already. And we've never, like we've never met in person. So it, to me, it's not about the diamonds, not about anything like that. It's it's creating like good good relationships with people, like good good people. Cause I mean, I've had my own friends in real life that have just, you know, taken a dump on me. I hear you and I agree. I will say that some of my, especially this last week and a half, right? It was so challenging with travel. And there were days I literally couldn't stream. I couldn't because of the travel and, you know, the kids and weather and delayed canceled flights and things like that, right? I, I, missed, I missed the folks that I really connect to on here because we have built a tribe of good energy. We're the good vibe tribe and you all lift me up and i know that i try to lift others up but i also know in these last you know four days when i lit i couldn't get on i just couldn't stream couldn't build it into my day i missed you all and it was real you know it literally it impacted me you know not having my live virtual family so well, yeah. i yeah, i hear yeah, you yeah. and i agree it's the best part of the platform is that virtual and it can be genuine and it can be real and it doesn't have to be in person to be real and that's what i've learned and i appreciate you because you already know i've, right. I've honestly met a lot of streamers off the app and you know like it, it, it goes 50 50 half of them are okay and half of them are weirdos it's the same thing when anyone comes in your box like but that it's it's scarier when they know where you live <laughs> Okay, so yes, yeah, so you have actually, you know, you have met, met a lot of streamers, folks in in person, which is fun, and I encourage that too. I've met a few myself, and I know we have a lot of live uh, events that people do host in different cities, and uh, the app does too. So that is a beautiful thing too to actually meet in person. But in the meantime, it's nice to virtually connect and uplift each other. Exactly. Hi everyone, if you're just joining us, my name is Triple L. I'm your host for the Living and Loving Show with Triple L every Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern. This is our 95th episode, season eight, episode one. This is Smoke Face, our first guest. We have a second guest coming up shortly. And now, Smoke Face, we're going into my favorite part. You already know. I know. We're going into the love, yep. We're going into the love. So talk to us. And I'm going to make you bigger because it's, I got to. I got to make you bigger. Oh, I just took a picture. Hold on. There we go. I'm new here, y'all. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Tell us about the love story. This is my favorite part. It's the love. So how did, so, yeah. All right. So yeah, uh, I have a fiance. I'm on here just to stream for the most part. I have a fiance and we met each other on Plenty of Fish before streaming was around. So it was, uh, this March will be seven years that we've been together. 
we have a four-year-old daughter. She'll be five in October. Um, I was on house arrest for a DUI and she drove an hour in the middle of the night to come meet me. And it, she pretty much hasn't left since. <laughs> you found love on the platforms. Yeah, no, I'm on plenty of fish right now. And yeah, no, me and her met on plenty of fish. And it was years ago before live streaming. You had a connection. She, you know, came to you given your life situation, right? Real life love story turned into a couple, turned into a marriage, turned into a beautiful, young, vibrant, beautiful little one. Yeah. In real life. Yeah. Y'all, it happens. It, like, it can it can happen on here. I I mean I'm there, there's no way me and her are ever, like, we love each other way too much. Even if we get into a fight, nothing's ever going to change. Like, that, we're, we're stuck with each other forever. <laughs> I love it. It is goals. Yes, somebody said it in the chat. These are things that I think many of us come to these different platforms, social networking. Whether we admit it or not, we come to find a person, a partner, or maybe more than one partner, and that's, another day another story okay well that, but, that's the whole, the whole reason i even joined on plenty of fish was because of the whole house rest of things i'm sitting there going i and i had just gotten out of a five-year relationship with my ex fiance about six months before i joined on here and met megan so i yeah me like that that, and that was a nasty breakup and like we're cool now but that was a nasty breakup and then I wanted to be single for a little bit. So, but after about six months, I was like, I'm going to go on, you know, one of these dating sites. So I jumped on plenty of fish and yeah, I ended up meeting Megan and then she thought I was a fucking weirdo. Okay. Wait, we're good. She thought, Keep going. She, she thought I was a weirdo. And, uh, and so she like refused to come meet me. And then I want to say it was like three months later, she was drunk at a bar and she called me in the middle of the night <laughs> and she's like, so I can't help, but it's not like, I can't stop thinking about you. And I'm like, okay. So then we planned something out and she ended up coming up and meeting me, but it was just, yeah, it, it was, it was weird the way the whole thing happened. I ended up being single for like nine months until Megan, like it took Megan three months to come around to meet me. And now she's, she's glad she did. And I love that. I actually like the part though, I think, and it's very smart because this was, tell them again, how many years ago this, this virtual relationship began? How many years? It was six or six. So right around now would be seven years that we seven first years. contacted each other. I want to say it was August, seven years ago. August, okay. maybe September. We're, we're coming close to the seven year mark when me and her first started talking. Wow. See, and you took, you guys took time, even though you were interested in each other, right? She, she paced it out for her three months or so. You two like getting to know each other, single dating, chatting, maybe, you know, whatever that turned into, maybe phone calls eventually. Right. And then you built a friendship relationship, met in person, and then voila. And now meet me slash plenty of fish, but real so life love and family, her, a family. Her, her bet, her bet, her be, like best friend from where she's at, from where she was at, her best friend slash coworker, whatever. And I don't even know if you actually know this triple, but her best know. friend slash coworker used to be my neighbor. And she was in Megan's ear telling all these like un untruthful things about me. And that's why Megan was skeptical about meeting me. But she was saying stuff that like, that I basically brainwashed and abused my ex and everything. And I like it, my very first ex I was with for five years. And I text my ex directly and I was like, did I ever do anything to you? And she's like, no, you were a great guy. I honestly don't know why we broke up. And then I, I showed Megan the message. I was like, there you go. They're straight from the mouth. Like your friend is lying to you. And that's important. Transparency, right? Being open and honest. 
And when, okay, especially nowadays, right? Let's be honest, y'all. Let's be real for a second. And then my next guest is coming up in just a minute. But there are a lot of people in this world, unfortunately, don't want to see happy people. They don't want to see successful relationships. They don't want to see people thriving in in their career. They don't want to see people making money and, and living their best life. They don't. They don't want to see that. That's a sad thing, but it's the reality. And so there's a lot of folks that will come in with their energy and try to like blindside or sideswipe your relationship, your career, your your successes. And that's something we have to be kind of very protective of our, our personal things that we value, your family, your your career, your finances, right? And I'm proud of you because you took that extra step even back then to say, look, these are rumors. Here's the proof. This is her saying to me, you know, and you 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 nipped it in the bud right there. You didn't you didn't play into the drama. You just said this is it. No. This is the real stuff. Take it or leave it. And that is valuable. If I can go, if I can go directly to the source, then I'm going to go directly to the source. Absolutely agreed. Hi everybody, welcome in. Yeah. We almost so have. I don't know. Can I have a success have story. Just here. put yourself Anything. out there. Just put yourself Thanks. out there. Anybody can have a success story like we do. True. But don't, so but don't put yourself out there where faith. you're going to harm yourself. There's, Wait, a, like, there's a difference. If you're going to put yourself out there, put yourself out there in a safe way. That part. Yes, of course. Yeah. Agreed. Y'all, everybody, are you smoke face favoriting? He's smoke face and Maggie. That's his wife. And they have a little one. They have a beautiful child and she is here because they met on a dating platform called plenty of fish but I, if i can say just real quick for all the ladies out, out there like when megan came to meet me she had a friend follow her to my house that's the way you should approach things ah i like that be safe right be, no put yourself out there but do it safely because you never know what you're going to end up finding out even though she thought I was weird, that her friend drove an hour also. <laughs> she thought I was weird, but <laughs> yeah. a good weird, not weird, weird, weird. I am not... weird, but I'm a good weird. I'm a fun weird. But I do, I, there's value in that. Meeting in a public place, having friends with you if things go awry. Absolutely. I mean, really, we don't know humans for at least two years. It's the truth, y'all. Those of us that are trying to find love, I take, I would encourage you to take your time and enjoy the moment and, and get to know somebody real, really, and screen heavily because there's a lot of folks out here and y'all know what I'm talking about, that they're not, they're not legit. Okay. <laughs> their bios aren't legit. Their pictures aren't le like it's, you know, so do your due diligence for yourself to be safe. And to really get to know someone before you jump into all the things, okay? And that's me being a mom. <laughs> um, so tell us, what are you all looking forward to in love? You and Meg and the little one. I know there's some things coming up and I um, want you to say- well, I mean, we plan on getting married. We, we haven't set a date. We plan on getting married. But I mean, we're, we're, just, we're just living life. I mean, we, 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 I mean, we live very comfortably. Yeah, you living know. life, enjoying it, planning a ceremony. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm financially able to make it so Megan can stay home with Zoe all day, and so she gets, you know, she, they get that time together, and and that's important. I'd, I'd rather have her here than with somebody else. Agreed. If you can do it, absolutely. It's nice to have. I mean, we a we we struggle it. because it's only my income, but we're. It, it's enough where I, I still, if I was paying, if I was paying for daycare, there's no way we could afford to live the way that we do. I hear you. It's a, a very expensive to get quality care for our children at any age. So I, I love that you're able to create that. Um, and you guys are a beautiful team. I know that for sure. You know, you have balanced a lot of different things, both of you, to create your family unit and kudos mm -hmm. to you both. Well, thank you. So tell us anything that's upcoming for you as a streamer so we can make sure we shout that out and get ready, y'all. 
We've got Molly Dolly up next. Okay, so um, give us the, on, the honestly, I don't have any. Event. Honestly, I don't have anything coming up. Like I, you know, you you hosted the one auction for me. I do want to do an auction again sometime, but yeah, it, it'll it, it might be a little bit because just I I don't I'm not really a huge huge fan of being auctioned off and what they that the last auction that you did I was I felt so humbled I, I mean I was almost in tears because well, it was a neat event and like you said you found out that they actually came together in oh, yeah. Violet, Violet the Heartbreaker Violet stream Julie. right to support you like they all gifted her in order to come and shower you with some big top badge gifts it that's was very phenomenal humbled. It was very humbling. Like it, like it, it almost brought, brought, it almost brought me to tears, and it's almost bringing me to tears right now because I can't believe there's that many people out there that care about me as a streamer. We do. Small I know you. I, like I know you do. We do, and there's more okay, than just up? me. And I saw Nightshades saying thank you to you and your support and your positive vibes. There's a lot of us that appreciate you and the space you give in your channel for well, creativity, fun, and just laughter and joy because it's important as we're moving through our daily lives to still have upliftment, even in our hardest times, right? So thank you. And Maggie, well, you. we love you. Did you hear that? Hey, Triple just yelled she loves you. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you go. I hope you'll hang out for a little yep. bit and yep. no, hear here. from Molly here. Dolly. She's a new streamer, y'all. Black VIP, similar to Smokeface, also a Black VIP gifter, supporter, streamer. Hit him with that favorite. Go to right, join his streams, and maybe tonight we'll do some partying, the after party, yeah. right? I'll favorite, I'll favorite Molly. As soon as she comes in, I'll favorite Molly. Okay. I'm going to let you let you out of the box because I will end my stream and we don't want to do that on a featured show. Here, I'll, <laughs> I'll, jump I'll jump out. I'll jump out. I'll jump out. Uh, thank you, dear. I, if I don't hit the wrong. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. This is the Living and Loving Show with Triple L. I'm your host. Live, love, laugh, and loyalty. It's a hidden L. Live well, love more, laugh always. We meet here every Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern. It's our 95th episode, season eight, episode one. Thank you to Emoji J who is recording for us for YouTube. Thank you to Papa Bear Sings who's going to have live music right around eight o'clock, so stay tuned. Thank you to my top gifters of the stream. So far we have Do Better Dustin. <laughs> He's dad bod Dustin to me. I've known him for years on the platform. Thank you Wild West, my number two gifter so far. And Sexy Jesse, amazing streamer y'all. Hit them all with the fave. Kane, I see you, Molly Dolly, Blake Premier, Top Badge, Blake Premier in the building, Nightshades. Funky, not funky. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for joining. All right. Now, we have a treat for you. Okay? And she's a treat to me, too. I'm very excited because I haven't actually gotten to talk to her face to face. Okay? We've literally not had a stream battle chat or I haven't been in her stream. I did try, but she was offline. I was offline, but we did connect on Instagram. And thanks to future top badge Kraken, she put us in touch. And Molly Dolly is so amazing and flexible that she is here tonight. Even with all the chaos of my travels and being delayed and stuck in Newark and Jersey and New York for three days with three kids. Okay, she's still here. She's ready to go. She's out and about with her family. And please welcome in Molly Dolly and let's get to know her. Let's learn about her journey in streaming. Let's learn about her love life or how she is manifesting love in her life right now. Hit that favorite on our spoiler with gifts. Shout out to Blake Premier, also connected and supporting with her and she, him. And Krabby, I saw Krabby has you in his name. So that means, Molly Doll, you know Top Badge Krabby, one of my most favorite streamers. Welcome, everyone. Hi. Can you all hear her? I'm going to turn my music down. Let me turn it down. There we go. I found you. Hi. Oh, hi, hi. Can you hi. hear me? I Hello, can. Hello, 
Molly, Dolly, y'all, her emoji Hi. is the shiny star. It's two of them. Do three. Come on. Put some shiny bright stars with the, the things on the side for Molly Dolly, one of our newer streamers, black VIP supporter, and amazing woman. I can't, I've heard so many amazing things from many people. Oh, thank you. So tell me about you and your stream journey. How did you become a live streamer? Well, so I actually stumbled upon Blake's, uh, Blake Premier, Top Badge Blake Premier's uh, live one day. Cause I'm on POF. So sometimes if I hit on the wrong box, I accidentally hit the live streams. So I just hit into it one day and I just loved his vibe. I loved what he was doing. And I sat in there for probably two, three hours and here we are. <laughs> I love it. What a wonderful stream to, to fall yeah. into, you know, because Blake is another uplifter, you know, excellent communicator he's a top badge that i've seen since i started streaming he's in the chat right now right. y'all him with the action emoji hit him with that <laughs> that film emoji blake premiere in the building so what happened next you spent some time in his live stream like most yeah. of us you don't stop you kind of get hooked and then what so this is something he doesn't even know um so in october i went through a complete life health transformation and I lost 90 pounds from then to now. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. So, Congratulations. Um, thank you. So I kind of started to have more confidence in myself and have more self-esteem. So that's really why I started being more comfortable going live streaming. You know, I've been in all the lives, like I'm a giver. Everyone knows this. I'm a giver. I like to give. I never expect anything back. So I just, honestly, I wanted to see if I could be on live stream and feel comfortable. And I honestly, I feel so comfortable. And it's from like all the support of Blake and the Kraken family, the good vibes crew. Honestly, yeah. it's just, it's been amazing. It's only been, I think a month about. Wow. Okay. So new, new streamer y'all hit mm -hmm. the favorite on Molly Dolly. You're doing amazing. As far as I can see your growth, right? Mm -hmm. And that is one of the best parts of the app is finding those folks that make you feel like sunshine, that make you feel welcome, supported, encouraged, and want you to enjoy a live community. And right. you found some of the like best folks that are also gonna network you to grow you as a streamer. And there's a lot of us that don't mind sharing our knowledge and honestly, yeah. You know, and that's great because there's other people that aren't like that, right? Well, let's not talk about it. <laughs> so, um, so now what are you looking forward to in your journey? Because here you are established streamer. Do you stream every day? Uh, what does your stream um, look like? So I'm a bank manager, so I work from home on Thursdays and Fridays. So it's a little easier for me to do it on Thursday and Fridays because I'm home. Right. Um, still trying to get like the ins and outs of it, like trying to feel feel out the different vibes and all the different streams and see what I want to bring into mine, like get some content too. So I try probably every other day. I wouldn't say every day for sure. We'll get okay. there. Though. We'll get no, there. Yes. And, and actually, you know, building it in where you can is the nice thing about a 24 seven channel that you right. get to choose your times, right? Cause there's right. days like I just mentioned, you just can't build it in, but mm -hmm. I love that you are enjoying it congratulations on your health journey you. i mean that's you literally let go of a whole human right i you did just let that go <laughs> that must feel amazing so kudos and i'm proud of you friend. and keep going thank you and you can I help motivate you. me <laughs> you can keep me motivated to get back in shape um what are some of the things you're passionate about and and what do you like to do in your streams um honestly I'm just passionate about making people happy. That's kind of one of the reasons why I got into banking is because I want every customer to leave with a smile on their face. And even if they come in with a frown, I want them to leave with a smile. Um, I'm just really about good vibes, happy people, and just being genuine and finding people like that, which I have on this app, which is amazing. Uh, amazing, the people I have met on this app. Like, I feel so like I've met friends for a lifetime. Did you like my smiley hat in the beginning? I did. I loved it. <laughs> Let's change it. Okay. So I love that. You're an uplifter too. I mean, you did mention you're, yeah. you're a giver. You're a 
uplifter, you're, right. you like positive vibes, you connect with that and you, you like to see people smile. You're literally I in do. a financial world and try to help folks. That's a gift. Yeah. Um, so when we come to your streams, what are we doing? Like, do we like to, we do a little music, we do a little just hanging out and I know you're building it, but what are you, yeah. like, if we're visioning in the next month, cause you're month in. So let's say month two, what are we, what are you dreaming big? I love to dream big. So what are you, <laughs> I'm hoping to get doing? some contests or karaoke night as someone very there close to me suggested. Um, and do good music. I'm a really big fan of music. So happy music, happy day, happy life. So that's important to me. Um, but just really just working on content, just seeing what's out there and what I want to bring into it. I love it. So getting into some contests, setting up a karaoke night and enjoying your live streams. I think that's the, the, the biggest thing, right? As long as you're having fun and enjoying it, right. your folks that are going to come in, which I will be there. Blake's going to be yeah. there. Kraken's there. Krabby comes through. I'm sure a lot of I us love you all. Yes. right now Thank are going to be there. Um, we're going to just keep vibing off each other and uplifting and keep growing. So can you, yeah. before I let you go, cause I know you are out with your family and thank you again for being so flexible. Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about your love journey? Cause I do love love. <laughs> um, so, and, and I don't want you to answer Like if it's uncomfortable or there's something. Oh, happens, no, you don't oh, no, it's about, totally, we, it. okay. we can definitely talk about it. Um, okay. let's go. So. I come from a family where my mom's been married three times. So love is a little difficult for me. It's very difficult to trust because I've seen three failed marriages in my lifetime. Um, so it does not something that comes easily or often because like I said, I don't trust very easily. So, you know, kind of at that stage in life where I'm almost 30, like everyone's like, when you're 30, you should have a relationship. You should be on your way. People my age are all having babies and getting married. And I'm just kind of thinking like, I got to wait. I got to wait until I'm ready because I'm honestly not ready. <laughs> so it's just not something that I'm ready to do. But if it happens, it happens. And if it doesn't, then I'm okay with it. Yeah, so. I think that's a healthy energy to have, right? You know, right. learning from others, right? So we don't repeat those mistakes, right? My parents right. have been between my two parents. My bio parents, seven times married. Oh, wow. Y'all. Okay. Y'all. Y'all. You know, so it's I okay. can relate. I can relate. <laughs> I know that's a lot, you guys. Lord, have mercy. Saying it out loud, it's crazy. But it's the truth. So as a child of divorce, right, I definitely married not wanting to be divorced, but life had other right. plans. That's another show. So, but I love that you're still optimistic, right? Yeah. It sounds like you're still being keep patient. optimistic. Yeah. You're being, you know patiently waiting for the right person, the right time to, right. to pursue that. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So quick question. Yeah, of course. Have you found any folks on the platform that you like, you know, get the little butterflies for? You don't have to say names. Maybe. Yeah. Like that's what I want to hear. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I've met a lot of people on this love platform, it. though. I've met a lot of people. So, okay. Who knows? There you go. I love it. I will <laughs> I will not push it any further. Y'all hit Molly Dolly with that favorite. Spam those amazing shiny stars. She is a double star, Molly Dolly. Thank you. And how did you pick your name? I would love to know before I let you go. Molly Dolly. Um, my Spanish teacher in high school, <laughs> to be honest. He came up with it. Your Spanish I was looking for like, teacher in high yeah. school would call you that. Well, we were, this is when Instagram kind of just got popular and we were looking at Instagram names. He goes, just do Molly Dolly. Just do it. And I'm like, okay. Put up with <laughs> oh, Come back me up because I just want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome in, everybody. This is Molly Dolly. She's I a black VIP. She's a new streamer to the platform. Just a month in. Go support her stream. People forget get to know her. You get get another her try. Good vibes. I see you, Vicky. I see you, Kane. I see y'all in the chat. Um, thank you for supporting her. With gifts and positivity and chats. And just, we all remember when we first started.
started going live. Those of you that have gone live. So it is a journey and I'm so glad you're a part of it, Molly Dolly. Thank you so much for being Thank a part you. of the show. I want to have you back whenever you want to come back. Of course, and of course. I will be by your stream and I know a lot of us will. Uh, let us know when we can catch you live again. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Guys. Bye. She did say Thursdays and Fridays, right? She's a busy businesswoman. So Thursdays and Fridays, Molly Dolly is more able to stream, but hit her with the fave. She'll be in the chat for a second, I think, before she goes on to her next adventure with family on a Saturday. Um, welcome in. Thank you to the almost 1300 viewers at the featured show hour. The top gifter of the stream will be celebrated on Instagram. So I'm going to screenshot that right now. It is 801. Thank you so much, y'all. Blake Premier in the building. Top Badge Blake Premier. Shout out to Top Badge Silly Lily. Thank you, Kane. Thank you, Dustin. Thank you, Wild West. Thank you, Sexy Jesse. Thank you, Miss Tani, Molly Dolly, Blake Premier, Nightshades, everybody who's come through. Thank you so much. Be in the chat. Everybody favor everybody. Literally, this is the Good Vibe Tribe. Tribe. Good Vibe Tribe. GVT community. Okay? Spam some butterflies. And let's do our outro and then we're going into live music i'll recap the show in a bit okay here we go outro i'm put up with changes come pick me up because i just want to see the light i want to be weightless teach me to fly i won't be coming down could somebody wake me up i don't want to be Just see her face where ever I look, she's standing in the crowd. So I let go, let go, I don't want to, but I'm gonna try when she left me. Yeah, let a little inside, you know, you know, maybe things are gonna be alright. Cause I just wanna see the light. I'm so sick of waiting And getting too restless to be in this dusty town I've heard of this place where People forget and you get another try So come open up my door I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by I won't see your face on the cuff. Thank you so much. It's <laughs> you're good. Look, cracking for top badge. Smoke face in the building. We got <laughs> Molly Dolly. We got Emoji J. You guys, Emoji J is one of the most hard working people I know on the platform. Okay. He is connected and involved in so many events and streams. And I'm grateful for you, my dear. Okay, bye. Oh,